Hey guys, Ernie here and welcome to the Paleo Hiker MD channel. Today, the battle of the alcohol stoves. Stay tuned. So today I got a pretty awesome video for you guys. We're gonna take a look at these four stoves from the standpoint of how much they weigh, how long it takes them to bring two cups of water to a boil, if they can, because we're gonna limit the fuel to one fluid ounce of denatured alcohol. So basically, how long will these burn on one ounce of fuel? Will they bring something to a boil? And if they do, how long will they burn in total on that one ounce of fuel? So let's bring y'all close and I'll introduce you to our competitors. So first is the oldest stove in my arsenal. This is a DIY cat can stove, okay? Fancy Feast cat can, carbon felt on the inside, and a cut down tomato paste can. I've used this for many years. It's kind of been my go-to and we're gonna take a look at it. Second, we're gonna take a look at this. This is a relatively new stove that I built. I made it out of a Sprite bottle. It's one of the actual bottles, like a long neck bottle. Chopped off the top long neck, inverted it, and pressed it in, okay? And you can see it's fairly small, and we're gonna take a look at this one. Next is my newest stove. I made this from a $1 um, aluminum bottle at Walmart, and it's another one of those stoves where I took the top, inverted it, pressed it in, it has little jets all on the outside. This one, as well as this one, do not require a pot stand, which is very nice. And this one also does not require a pot stand. So this is the third stove we're gonna look at. Last, we're gonna compare it to the Trangia Spirit Burner. This is a production alcohol stove. Very, very nice stove, well tested, burns very well. And we're gonna compare these other three against this, which you can buy at any store, including Amazon. First thing we'll do is weigh these. First, we've got the Cat Can Stove. This is 26 grams or 7 eighths of an ounce. Next is what I'm calling the long neck soda bottle. That is 14 grams or one half ounce. Next is the larger uh, aluminum can stove. 50 grams or one and three quarter ounces. And last is the Trangia, which is 67 grams or two and three eighths ounces. So what I'm gonna do for each of these, you just have to trust me on this, I'm gonna put them on a scale, I'm going to zero it out, and I'm gonna put one ounce of fluid, and I'm gonna put 16 ounces of water into this cup. We're going to light them, we'll start the timer right away, we can see how long it takes them to bloom, and we can see how long it takes it to bring a cup of water, or two cups of water to a boil. I'll indicate on the screen when the boil has happened, and then we will wait and see how much longer it actually burns uh, with the one ounce of fuel in it. So let's start with the cat can stove, I'll just play some music and we'll go through this quickly. So that is the results of the test. You can see each one of them. Let's talk about each individually and see what we think. First is the tried and true cat can stove. I have had a hard time finding a design that can beat this. You can see it had a very long burn time, brought two cups of water to a boil in a decent, um, you know, decent amount of time, uh, comparable to the others. What I like the most about this is the way that it puts flame on the bottom of the a pot, it is consistent, it is smooth, and it really seems to be efficient. It creates a very consistent blue flame, and that is something that I really like. It also is very lightweight and hard to beat. We'll scoot over to this one now. This is by far the coolest stove I've ever made. It's the most professional one I've ever made. 
Um, it came out amazing. I'm so happy with the way it looks, but the performance is kind of stinks. So the best looking one is definitely the least efficient. You can see that it did get two cups of water to a boil, but it has two negatives. It burns very quickly, I think just because of the size of it, so, so it quickly burns away the fuel. Second of all, it does need fuel sprayed around the outside to preheat it, or else the uh, it takes over about a minute for it to uh, preheat and actually bloom. Doing it this way took about 20 seconds, which is a lot better than I did initially when I got it. But overall, although very cool, very nice looking, does work efficiently as far as bringing cup, two cups of water to a boil in a good time, it just runs out of fuel really fast. Third, we'll talk about the Trangia. This is a great stove. You can see again, uh, it's kind of cool with the, the uh, angle that we had looking at the different flame patterns. This creates both a blue and a yellow flame together, not as uh, clean burning as some of the others, um, but it, it's just rock solid. It has the benefit of having the simmer ring that you can put on top to create a smaller flame if you want to make it a little bit uh, more controlled as far as the amount of heat. It also comes, of course, with this screw on top with an O-ring on the inside, which allows you to actually store uh, fuel in here, and that adds a lot of flexibility. Of course, the negative it is by far the heaviest of the four stoves. Now, like I told y'all, I never thought I would find a better stove than this cat can, but this little stove, which I will put a link uh, to a video on how I made it, very simple, 99 cent Sprite bottle. Um, you could see it has just as good of performance as the cat can stove but actually weighs only 14 grams this thing is tiny and very efficient at first i didn't think it would be but it really is the first couple of times that i burnt it it did not work as well as i thought it would and i think a lot of it is because once this jv weld up here fully cured i think it created a very tight seal and now it very quickly pressurizes it does take a few drops of fuel around the outside to preheat it to allow it to bloom a lot faster Without it, it still blooms in about 30 seconds, but you could see it bloomed very quickly uh, with just a few drops around the outside. So this, believe it or not, is my new favorite alcohol stove. Hope you guys enjoyed the battle of the alcohol stoves. Three DIY stoves, one stove you can buy at Amazon or any other store. Very popular stoves, very popular designs. This design, I don't know uh, if it's my own design. It's obviously put together like a lot of other ones. One difference is I do have a ring of carbon felt on the inside of this stove, and you can find that on the video where I made this. I don't know if that helps to be more efficient. I think it's a little bit of an interesting design, and I hope you guys enjoyed the difference between these four stoves. As always, I appreciate the support. If you haven't already, please like, comment. You can click the subscribe button. It really helps the channel grow, and I look forward to more fun videos here on Paleo Hiker MD. Thanks for watching.